Hi, this is a brief introduction to Moncala using Java. And just wanted to get this out of the way. This is for the first assignment and that's something that might help. So I'll just go ahead and open up Java. And then you can see this is the IML file. And then I'm going to open the file in the project. Then on one column one under sources, I have three modules. Board, the name, and the player. First of all, since player is the one sub, notice very simple, and we just have a player, and the only thing it really stores right now is name, and so I can have a constructor without any parameters, which I need if I'm going to be using an array of players, or I can have a constructor that passes in the name and sets the name. I can also set name individually, or independently, and also get name. So standard class with one attribute and a way to set it initially, and a way to set it through set name, and a way to retrieve it through get name. Now, board is the next one, and we have two 14 element arrays. One is for board, and this is again the board class. And we have six fours, a zero, six fours, and a zero. And this creates the board from Oncala, which is the starting place. And then also, then we have 14 letters and these are used for labeling. In here, to make it a little bit easier, we have a print solid line, which then just goes through, and this tells how many dots or asterisks are needed in the line. And this last one is a Boolean that tells whether you want a new line or not. Likewise, dots. And if you notice, this prints a dot, and then four blanks. And again, this determines whether you want a new line at the end or not. Top player, we could probably do this through a second for loop. But right now, this is doing a label. If you notice, then this is using print format. And it has an asterisk, two blanks, and percent C in a blank. And what the C is, it says put one character in this location and that's what the parameter at the end is is comma and notice labels and like if i is one then it prints out a and if i excuse me if i is a zero it prints out an a if i is 13 it prints out an end likewise then goes through and prints out all the locations in the top, which is the first four through the zero. And then likewise for the bottom player, it prints out then the stones in each pit, starting with the uh, Let's see. I have to see if that's correct. Because then at the end, we'll just bring out one dot. OK. 
can use the dotted line, dotted line, the loop, and then a solid line to get the final dot with a true at the end. Likewise for the labels here. And if you notice again, this is character, and this then is a asterisk with a space and a percent with 2D. This means it's going to take up two positions, no matter whether it's a single digit number or a double digit number. But it will take up two positions. So if it's like a four, it'll print out a splat, then space, then a second space, then a four, then a space. Okay, and then this is actually printing out the board. This is going through I'm bring a sod line, a dotted line. And this is, these two are the, in order to get a splat at the very end, we have to do a print solid line because if we used a dotted line again, it would have three blank spaces or four blank spaces after the last asterisk. Then we print the top layer, dotted line, solid line, to this would, again, like this one. And then this would be a solid line going across, dividing up the two sides. And then a dotted line, which are these two statements here. And print down the bottom layer. And then likewise, close off with the dotted lines going across and the solid line going across. And that's board. Then main is fairly simple. And again, is we're just having a class main with, of course, the information about this program and a little explanation of what it does. And then this is just saying it's easier if we create a array of two players. And if you notice, then I am doing this and because this is being filled in by the first one, it does not have the proper information. And this is just being create the pointers to the players. You'll just have to do the new players later on. Then I go ahead and have an import input of new scanner system in dot in. Then I print the board and I print out welcome to my column. Then ask for the name of the first player. And then the nice thing is, notice I have the input dot next line. I could set this equal to variable, but I'm just putting it inside player because the person will just go ahead and type in the name of the player. Likewise, print out the second player. Notice on the prompts, I have a print. So this then ends with question mark space and allows the user to enter the name on the same line. Likewise, this one does the same thing, question mark space. And so I have both lines being able to be put in by the user. Then I say welcome to the two players and please enjoy your game. Then I'm starting the loop for the moves. And I'm just saying it is now time for, and what the current player is, then to make a move. And so it doesn't keep on going on through the loop, I do a break so that I now have, and if you want to see what it looks like, I can do a build. And build complete, then I can do a run. Let me just extend out this. Now, if you notice, it has the labels going across for the top player and the labels going across for the bottom player. 
That's what the board looks like. And then I can start typing in the names. And that's all I expect on the first assignment. Hope this helps. <laughs> 